Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this T-Flex CAM training course and the topic for today will be the 3D milling. Uh, we will split this 3D, uh, 3D milling in several uh, lessons. This first one, um, as you can see, it's uh, apart from what I call the main uh, options for 3D milling that we call uh, 3D boundering uh, milling. Uh, we have one special feature called uh, 3D milling that in fact has only uh, one type of uh, toolpath. This is a, a little an extension of uh, a, the 2D milling because uh, it has uh, the exact same functions but in this particular case uh, can look and work on top of any kind of surface but it will allow you to choose only one surface at a time. So this is good, but on the other side, it is uh, very important to pay uh, attention because the program does not uh, make uh, control of collision with the surrounding uh, entities. So you need to be extra careful with this. Uh, to show you what is possible to do with this 3D milling, I've built a very simple uh, solid and I've created um, a very, I would say, interesting surface on the top so that you can see that this mode works uh, in uh, 3D surfaces with uh, strange shapes. So as you know already, so 3D milling, then we need to choose which surface um, we want to work with. So surface, I will choose this surface then I will choose the tool file. I have already a file created. Uh, inside I have two, uh, two tools defined. I will choose tool number one to show you. This is a cylindrical tool, uh, 20 mil diameter with a 2 mil uh, radius. So uh, it's a cylindrical with a small radius in the corner. So close. And in terms of parameters, very basic parameters, so feed rates, you know this already, uh, cooler, spindles and directions for spindle. Then we can choose from the past type the direction, so we have only zigzag in X and Y and uh, loops, so which is basically the same. Number of passes, let us uh, increase this a little to make this a little interesting. And the tool lift, you know already, uh, increment uh, and the distance or in absolute coordinates. Uh, doing the, the controlling the directions, counter contour and change the direction, okay. Then we have a couple of parameters for the offset. Uh, I will leave this for a second uh, batch. Uh, approximation, this is the precision of uh, the chordal uh, error on the surface. We can rotate also the vectors uh, that uh, we are working with um, in our machine. And then we have uh, the possibility to create a radius correction and offset correction. And we can connect these functions to the machine controller. So let us create a program. So as you can see, it has done something. OK. Um, let us change a little the parameters. Um, I can work, uh, okay, more or less, more or less um, passes. Um, let us try to create a new one with a second tool. So face again this one. Uh, let us choose the tool file. And now tool number two. Now this is a spherical tool, 12 mil diameter and 6 radius, so it's spherical. Um, the same parameters here. This time I will choose in uh, Y. Also let's put 100 and control. And now you can see we have this nice shape. Uh, this is uh, zero in terms of the L1, so um, it's it's possible that uh, it is uh, touching the surface. We can do a simulation. Let's play it. As you can see, 
okay it will touch the limit contour okay uh, then we can play a little with these parameters like um, for example uh, the offset parameters we can do a surface offset for example uh, uniformize let us do in terms of the radius and the program will short will be shorter a little as you can see all around okay uh, we can also uh, have in this type of programs this interesting feature for the tool vector rotation where we can say for example rotate in one or two axes so if I say for example 45 degrees uh, in the Y I will do a simulation now and you see that in terms of the Y it is uh, it has this 45 degrees but I can do a little more which is uh, give also a rotation in the Z so let's say 15 calculate it again do also a simulation play it and pause it so you see that I have the 45 on this side and I have also 15 on this side so we can uh, work um, in indexed axis uh, 3 plus 2 with this mode in very specific cases and with a lot of careful uh, with the you must be very careful with this mode uh, again because of the collisions with the surrounding uh, entities but it is very interesting uh, in some particular cases uh, this type of milling so this is the first uh, possibility we have regarding 3d milling